Next guy we're coming up to, bringing up to the stage. He's a favorite right here, and he travels with me all over the place. He's he's a gordito too, you know. It's it's pa gordos tonight. So uh, sometimes they put us all on the same side of the plane, and we go around in circles for hours, man. So uh, you're gonna love this guy. He's he's one of the Latinos that has his own television show on a national network, on a Nickelodeon network, on a show called All That. It airs. Uh, Saturday nights at 9.30 and Sundays at 8 o'clock as well. Please welcome the very funny from Long Beach, California, Mr. Gabriel Iglesias. Gabriel! Woo! What's up? What's up, man? Welcome to Gordo Night. Yeah, man, we just keep getting bigger and bigger as the night progresses. The next guy, we load him in from the roof. <laughs> oot, oot, oot. It's going good, man. So how's everybody doing? Todos bien? Please, another round of applause for Mr. Nick, the owner, proprietor of Taste of Texas. Great man. He's a great man. I want to thank him personally for allowing me to work off my fajita debt tonight. <laughs> I know I owe him quite a bit. Those tacos are addicting. <laughs> Seriously, those tacos are like crack, man. I'll be on the freeway just, oi, tacos. <laughs> <sighs> Have to pull over. <laughs> this is cool, man. I love the holidays, man. This is great. I love it. Everybody's so happy right now, man. This is beautiful. You want to find some negative energy? Go to the mall. But everybody at the mall is mad. I heard this guy going, I can't stand these people. I hate these kids. You know, and that was just the Santa. <laughs> you know, está todo enojado, you know. <laughs> I love the holidays, but the only problem that I have with Christmas is that every year they make me the designated Santa. Why are you laughing? <laughs> They always make me wear the red suit. And it sucks because I live in Long Beach, borderline Compton. And my big ass goes outside in a red suit. They got gangs over there, you guys. You can't go outside wearing red or blue. Like, if you wear all blue, people say, it's a crip. If you wear red, it's a blood. If I wear yellow, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> hey, man. We're doing all right, though. This is beautiful, you guys. I love performing here at Taste of Texas. This is great. About a week ago, I got a chance to perform at the House of Blues. I was working with Rick James. You guys know Rick James? Yeah, man. I was all excited. I called my mom up. I said, Ama, I'm working with the super freak. My mom said, Mijo, tell your dad to come home. Que se venga. <laughs> I'm doing all right, though, man. Things are going cool. Like Rudy mentioned, I got this show on Nickelodeon. It's been going really good, you guys. My, mom is, uh, my mom's main concern now is to make sure I find the perfect girlfriend. That's her goal now. I want you to have a good one. So now she wants to meet everybody I date, which isn't easy because I'll bring a girl home and my mom will snap. I'm like, Ama, this is Rose. What do you think? Mm? I don't like her. I'm like, Mom, why not? Mijo, look at her. What? She's fat. I'm like, Mom, that's messed up. What about me? You're not fat. No, no, Mijo, you're just fluffy. <laughs> you la fregada fluffy, right? My mom told me that there are five different levels of fatness. She told me there's big, there's healthy, there's husky, there's fluffy, y ya no la chingues. You know, if you walk in a taste of Texas late one night and you hear Nick go, Yanila Chingus, go home. Because you've gone too far. But no, man, I'm happy though. Things have been going good. Everybody keeps giving me different advice too. And it's weird. Oh, here she comes. Come, permiso. Come, kiss me. Permiso. Sorry. Fine. Ay, Dios. <laughs> That's Rose. <laughs> no, she's not. She's real nice and thin and stuff. You're pretty. That's nice. How old are you? 16? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I mentioned Nickelodeon. Uh -uh. No. no. <laughs> I know. See, that's the problem. It's like I'm not, if I was 13, 14, 15, and I was working for Nickelodeon, that'd be cool. 
you know, because then I'd be, you know, be able to, you know, meet girls my own age. But I'm 24, and I walk into a place, and I start saying Nickelodeon. I look like a pedophile. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> so now I find myself meeting, like, women with children. That's, that's my goal now. That's the only thing that Nickelodeon can get me is single-parent moms. You know, the kids will be like, Amma, he's Nickelodeon, right? So the mom's like, really? Pues a ver, Nickelodeon, ven pa' acá, right? You know, I don't turn into a boyfriend. I turn into a babysitter, man. I go to the house. I got to meet all the friends, you know, not of the mom, but of the kids, you know. <laughs> but we're doing all right, though. Things have been really good. I'm always hanging out with Rudy. Rudy and I always come down here, and Nick is always smart about it, too. We walk in the door, and Nick's always like, kill a cow, kill a cow. <laughs> Nick is great, man. How you guys doing? And then Mr. Don Ramon, he's great, too. I like him a lot. And he does, man. He, Rudy wasn't lying. He has everything in his trunk. Everything. You need, you need a toenail clipper. Ahorita vengo. <laughs> you name it, man. Se acabó las fajitas. Tengo una vaca. Ahorita vengo. Cállate. We're having fun, though, man. Everybody's, oh, you want to, hold on. You want to take a picture? Go ahead. Today, no la chingues. All right. Oh man. Oh. She's going to take it to photo, man. It's going to be like, ¿Qué es eso? No sé. Es Pikachu. <laughs> I know a lot of you heard the last name Iglesias. I know some of you are wondering, right? Gabriel, are you related to Julio? Or for the ladies? Huh? You, know, you look at her. Ah! 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 You're getting all emocionada, huh? Because you're wondering, right? Are you related to Julio? Well, for the ladies, you better believe it. <laughs> Trust me, after a six-pack and a shot of tequila, I look a lot like Julio. Uh, Julio's cool because Julio knows how to talk to women. He's so cool. You always see him in his interviews. Reporters will intentionally try to intimidate him. Pero siempre sabe. He always knows. You know, reporters are like, So, Julio, what do you think about your concert here in Los Angeles? Julio comes out, right? <laughs> Hello. I am Julio, and you, you are so beautiful. I want to be with you. <laughs> you know, and the women hear that, they go, ah! and they correr. <laughs> they go, they run and they hide in Don Ramon's trunk. <laughs> you know, you tell them, hey, you got a scared runaway? Ahorita vengo, ahorita vengo. Iglesias, aquí está. <laughs> oh, man. But no, I continue my quest, though, trying to find the right girl and stuff. And all my friends give me different advice. My friends tell me to go to clubs. I can't go to clubs because every time I do, there's always that one pretty guy who shows up who messes up the curve for all the fluffy guys. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Shows up all wapo with the cool hair, cool eyes, plucked eyebrows, todo, verdad? Look with the cool shirt, looking suavemente, right? <laughs> Looking all cool. And ladies always go for this guy. Why? Why? Ladies, I'm going to tell you right now. You hook up with Mr. Rico Suave, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Yes, you're going to fall in love and you're going to be happy in the beginning. <laughs> but when you least expect it, this guy's going to lie to you, cheat on you, and break your heart. That's why, ladies, you need to start giving guys like me a chance. That's right, because the worst thing I'll ever do is have dinner without you. Huh? Right? See, she's smiling over there, huh? Uh, you hungry? Let's talk later. <laughs> Everybody keeps throwing me different things. Like my sister, the other, you know, one time my sister told me, she goes, Gabriel, why don't you just go on the internet? I'm like, what? What do you mean 
go on the internet because, you know, I figured, you know, I figured it'd be a good idea because my sister, she kind of knows what she's talking about. She goes to school. She goes to church. She's really nice. But I come to find out the hard way that there's a big difference in my sister between her in person versus her online. You know, because you meet her in person. She's like, hi, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Okay, bye-bye. God bless you. But you catch her online at 3 o'clock in the morning, man, she's talking about, te estoy sobando los huevos. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> now see, you guys are laughing, man, you are. But think about it, that's scary. It is, because I didn't know she was online. I was like, yeah, I like it. You know? Yeah, man, I saw my sister the next day. She's like, I met someone. I said, me too. <laughs> yeah, man, when I saw that, I was <laughs> But no, man, it's funny. And like, like, you don't never know who you're going to meet, you guys. I'm not lying. This is a true story. I went on the internet, and this girl online told me she was fluffy, right? And I figured, that's cool, because I'm fluffy too. Right? But this is the part where she tricked me. She told me she was Latina. I get to her house. She's not Latina. She's a black girl. Now, I don't have a problem with the fact that she's black, but she said she's Latina. And I got mad. I said, hey, you know, didn't you say you were Latina? You know what she tells me? Hey, look, motherfucker, I am Latina. That's my name. But let's go. <laughs> she never got to be careful. And I you see, I know some of the women are hearing that joking, going, no, 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 you know what, Gabriel? Maybe your problem is you just don't like full-figured women. That's not true because my ex-girlfriend, she was fluffy too. She was cool because I used to call her up in the middle of the night and all my friends would always tell us how romantic we were, right? I'd call her up, no big deal. <laughs> Old school, huh? <laughs> Pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just here. Where? In the kitchen. Oh, really? Ooh. Girl, what are you doing in the kitchen? Oh, nothing. I'm just baking. Oh, really? Oh, what are you baking? Just a chocolate cake. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, baby, say it slow. Say it slow. Chocolate cake. Oh, ay, Dios mío. Oh, baby. Sorry about that. Que cochino! Had a flashback. Woo <laughs> oh, man, I got to call her up. <laughs> oh. Reminiscing, man. Ooh. But now, you guys, everybody's giving me different advice now. Things are going all right. I keep meeting different people, too. Like, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at this Mexican food restaurant, and I got a chance to meet Humberto Luna. You guys know who that is? It's that Mexican radio DJ guy? Okay, you don't? All right. Well, sorry. 
No, well, okay, no big deal about this guy. He's just another radio dude, okay? I also met, in the last few months, I got to meet Rick Dees. I met Big Boy from Power 106. I got to meet a lot of radio DJs. And I noticed something out of all of these guys is that they sound a certain way on the radio, and in person, they sound completely different. Because, like, you meet somebody like, uh, what's his name, Big Boy, right? And on the radio, he's like, Big Boy! But in person, he's like, how you doing? But see, you meet one of these guys from the Mexican radio station. You know what I'm talking about, those guys that do those commercials late at night. Este sábado, 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 en el Pico Rivera Sports Arena, presentamos Los Tucanes. No se lo pierde este sábado, 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 presentado por Budweiser, The King of Beers, en el corner de Pico Rivera Sports Arena. Compró su lo hoy en el ticket más torral, 1 5 Cómpralos en la puerta este sábado. No se lo pierde, Los Tucanes, presentado por Budweiser. No se lo pierde. All right, I met that guy. All right? Now, see, I met him, and I saw his T-shirt, and his T-shirt said El Chubilu. That's the guy's name, the guy that does that. And I go, oh, man, I want to meet this guy. So I walk up to him. I'm thinking he's going to sound completely different. Homeboy sounds the same in person. You know, because I was like, how you doing, bro? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. Como estas? I'm like, oh. I said, he's playing around, right? I was like, hey, man, how are you? Muy bien! I go. <laughs> and that's scary, you guys. It is, because think about it. He'll go home, right, to his wife, and his wife will probably tell him late at night, you know, viejo, ¿qué me vas a hacer? What are you going to do to me tonight? <laughs> you know, what's he going to tell her? <laughs> este sábado, lo primero que te voy a hacer es que voy a tomar tu mano. Vamos a meternos al cuarto. ¿Dónde? Voy a empezar a apagar las luces, donde después te voy a desabrochar los pantalones, quitar tus calzones para mirar tu culote. Sí, después de mirar tu culote, yo también me voy a subir a la cama, me voy a quitar los pantalones, desabrochar mis calzones para enseñarte el chorizo. Sí, después de enseñarte el chorizo, te voy a presentar el tigre del norte. Así es que no se lo pierde, no se lo pierde, no se lo pierde, porque te voy a dar más este sábado. Porque tú vas a estar bien borracha Porque tú has estado tomando Budweiser The King of Beers Así es que no se lo pierde Este sábado ah. Ah. Hello. Suavemente Bésame Quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I got to meet that guy. Before I get out of here, you guys, I just want to say that, uh, oh, yeah, 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 ¿qué pasó? Órale. Slipping into darkness. <laughs> Mama. Oh, shoot. What's up? So, old Jaime Escalante in the house. Órale. <laughs> Two plus two, two plus two. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Anybody else gotta get up? <laughs> I'm one of those, man. We'll be here all night, man. And see, bro, I noticed this one guy in the back over there. I'm not going to message you, dude. You right there. Yeah, what's up, man? Stand up real quick, bro. Just stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Latino Donny Osmond. He's cool, man. He's Latino, which means he's a little... Oh. Suavemente. <laughs> Te lavaste la mano suavemente. I'll make sure, man. Gotta be Joe Cool. All right. Okay, one more thing, you guys, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Um, you know, everybody has got stereotypes about different types of people. They say that if you're a certain person, you act a certain way. But you know what sort of stereotypes are kind of true? You guys remember in the late 80s? when Latinos were winning the lottery every single week. <laughs> every single week, we had a Mexicano, Cubano, Chicano, whatever. We had them on the big spin. For those of you that don't remember what it was like, I'm going to take you guys back. <laughs> this is what I thought it looked like every time we had a Mexicano on the big spin. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, this is what it looked like. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Big Spin. Let's see if we can't find ourselves another lucky winner for their big chance at $1 million. Liberty, who do we have next? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, all the way from East Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome Mr. Armando Casillo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
A big round of applause for Mr. Armando Casillo. Welcome, Mr. Casillo, to the big spin. You, 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 you the TV guy. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm Phil Stevens. Welcome to the big spin. Okay. All right, man. So Armando Casillo from East Los Angeles, California. Yes. All right, you're from, uh, from East Los Angeles. You realize that this television show is nationwide? Everywhere? Everywhere. It's nationwide. El Monte, too. El Monte, too. Vieja, by the big speed! Le va a pegar al gordo! Y mi suegra, Dios me la bendiga. Jim, I'm sorry, I can't do the overtime today. Okay, Mr. Mr. Casillo. Mr. Casillo, what do you do for a living? I'm a boxer. <laughs> Are you a professional boxer? Yeah, my, my whole family, we professional boxers. <laughs> no, we, we box tomatoes, onions, lettuce, <laughs> uvas. Uh. Okay, well... <laughs> Mr. Casillo from East Los Angeles, California, are you ready to give this big wheel a spin for your chance at $1 million? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, well, Mr. Casillo, oh, you need to do something? First, you, oh, apparently you need to do some type of ritual. Oh, all right. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna, hey, 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 hey. All right, Mr. Casillo, give the big wheel a spin and let's see what happens. and family. Vieja, los vamos a culiacar. Y Jim, aquí está tu pinche overtime. Y mi suegra la chingada, vieja bruja. I'm the man. Ladies and gentlemen, East Los Angeles, California. Thanks, you guys, for supporting live comedy tonight. I'm Gabriel Iglesias. One more hand for Mr. Armando Cosillo. And a big round of applause for the man who brought us all together, Mr. Rudy Moreno. Gabriel Iglesias.